Good morning, folks. We've got the usual suspects in a lineup for their solar storm shenanigans, and a brand new record-breaking comet has been discovered. Let's begin with the solar storm effects. Veteran observers, look who we rounded up last night. Airline industry seems to be always first to feel these events. Same problem happened the last four level three or higher storms. We had more exploding transformers in perfect weather outside of peak energy usage times. More subway and public transport trouble, just like when BART went down during last year's solar storms. And PlayStation is another one that keeps popping up. By the way, when both Virgin and PlayStation blame each other, it's because neither one did anything wrong. It was the sun. Solar winds stabilized, crested, and began to calm overnight, thankfully. So looking now to spaceweathernews.com, we're coming to the last 24 hours on our star and you'll see some pops and surges astride the sunspot groups and in the largest central plasma filament. Both events were coronal only, neither ejected plasma, and now those big bright active regions and the coronal hole between them begin to face Earth this weekend. So folks, the story of solar system formation, the story of aggregates and accumulated masses coalescing and bombarding the early solar system. Not all of the material crashed together at the planets, however. Some remained unwed, traipsing the solar system looking for a home as they settle down in slumber. But not C-2017 K2 Panstars. This thing is further away than Uranus, and it's already brightening. No comet has ever been seen getting active at this distance, so excitement is high. At 12 miles across in the nucleus, the coma has already ballooned to over 80,000 miles. And if it's active now, 2022 and 2023 could have a glorious comet cutting through the solar system. If its brightness now is any indication, it could be an amazing time on Earth. Folks, if you didn't watch last night's video on John Casey and space weather and human health, I cannot recommend anything more after this video. We've got your wind maps, null school, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.